Hello everyone and welcome to some horse ranch quick tips. I've been playing since the 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 pack went out live and I'm really loving it. It's a lot of fun but I thought I would share a few quick tips that I have learned along the way that some of you who might not have played it as yet uh, might enjoy. So today I'm going to talk about how to horse breed. So I think there's probably a lot more to horse breeding and I might talk about that in another video but today I'm just going to talk about the how of it. So I have two new horses that I've adopted here. So we have Rascal who's a stallion and I have Scout who is a mare. So what I've discovered with this is that uh, relationships do play a part in in horse breeding. So the how of it. So what we need to do is have a wee look at our horses. So if we go down to the relationship panel and we bring up Rascal who's our, who's our stallion and open profile. So if you have a look at this, so we've got uh, what he is, so he's got 50 days till age up, he's a stallion and uh, worth a thousand. So that's what I paid when I adopted him and he's got his traits there, brave, independent and friendly. We haven't done any competitions, we haven't done any training and at this stage we haven't interacted with him at all as well. Uh, so he is just an acquaintance, alright. So pets often feel strongly about someone but this pet doesn't seem to feel much of anything. So that's something to keep an eye on. So then we're going to have a look at Scout, who's our female horse. So we'll open that up. So once again, we've got adult horse mare, a thousand. Now because the character that I am playing with now adopted Scout, they are actually friends already. So pets are friends through and through as long as they get some love in return. So that does make a difference. And she is mellow, friendly and brave, no competitions, no training. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my character, she's already friends with this horse, but not friends with this horse, they're just acquaintances. So I'm going to ask Rascal here to breed with Scout. So you just go into, click on the horse, uh, more choices, friendly, encourage to. So you're going to have a couple of options here, so encourage to breed with and encourage to socialise with. So Salty needs to build a stronger relationship with Rascal before this can be asked. Okay, so relationships do play a part, but it's a relationship between the owner and the horse, not the horses themselves, that I've noticed. I, I think these, these two horses haven't interacted at all, so yeah, so that makes a difference. Uh, it doesn't make a difference, it doesn't seem uh, that horses need to know each other before they breed. So because we're already friends with our lovely scout here we do have the different option where we can encourage to breed with so encourage to socialize requires being good friends with scout but encourage to breed with you just need to be friends so let's see if they will mate and look at that they did just like that. So the relationship between the owner and the horse absolutely makes a difference. The relationship between the horses and the horses makes no difference with getting the horses to breed. So that is the basics of how to breed a horse. Pretty straightforward and but you know there is a little a little twist to it with what you can and can't do with the horses. Okay well check back in the next uh, quick tips video I'm going to talk a little bit more about breeding and making money as a horse breeder. Catch you next time. Bye!